Hi boys and girls. Today we are going to be doing lesson two and it's titled Comparing Lengths in Meters. Okay. Now you're going to be learning how to compare in two ways today. The first way that you're going to be learning how to compare is using words. For example, words like shorter, longer, and longest. I'll give you an example. The van is longer than the car. Okay. Another way that we're going to be learning how to compare is we are going to be writing subtraction sentences. For example, the van here is five meters long and the car here is three meters long. And I want to know the difference between the van and the car. So I write a subtraction sentence. So I write 5 minus 3 equals 2. Now the difference between the van and the car is 2. So I can say something like this. The van is 2 meters longer than the car. Okay, so that's what we're learning today. I'm going to go to the next page. Here, this probably looks very familiar. Right now, you need your small math notebook. And just like in class, you're going to draw two small squares at each corner. And you're going to write the goal of the lesson, which is comparing lengths in meters. Okay? Go ahead and write that goal right now. And if you need to push pause on the video, go ahead and push pause and continue when you're ready. Next, we have new vocabulary that we're learning today. These are the words that we use to compare lengths. We have the word taller, tallest, shorter, shortest, longer, and longest. Again here we have three automobiles. We have the car, the van, and the truck. If you like, you can go ahead and draw a car, a van, and a truck. Okay. Again, if you need time, go ahead and push pause and push play when you're ready. Okay. The next thing that I did here is I wrote two sentences using, uh, using the new vocabulary words. For example, here I wrote a sentence using the word longer. Okay. The sentence says, the van is longer than the car. My next sentence, I used longest. The truck is the longest. Now for number three, as you can see that it's blank, that means that it's your turn to write your very own sentence. Um, go ahead and choose any of the new vocabulary words that I just listed and write your sentence. Okay? Go ahead and push pause while you write your sentence and then push play when you're ready to begin. I'm going to go to the next page here and it says compare lengths by subtracting. Okay? So this is the other way that you can compare uh, some objects. Okay? And we have a question here, um, a math problem, and it says, how much longer is the truck than the van? Okay? So here it's asking us to compare the truck and it's asking us to compare the van. But they want to know by how much. They want to know a number. Okay? So I'm going to go to the truck, and I can see that the truck is 11 meters long, and I can see that the van is 5 meters long. So if I want to compare these two, I'm going to write a subtraction sentence. And when I write a subtraction sentence, I'm going to start with the biggest number. Okay? Then I'm going to write 11 minus 5, 5 because we're talking about the van, equals, 11 minus 5 equals 6. You're correct. 
Now that I've written my subtraction sentence, I can go back to the question, which says, how much longer is the truck than the van? Well, after writing my subtraction sentence, I know that the truck is six meters, six meters longer than the van. Okay, that's my answer. I'm going to go to the next page and I want you to read the title. Notice it says compare equals subtract. So that means when you're comparing something, you're going to subtract. Okay? So number one here, we have a blue ribbon is 8 meters long. So this whole little piece right here is 8 meters long. Then we have another piece that says a red ribbon is 3 meters long. Okay? Now let's go to question A. Which ribbon is longer? That's obvious. You can tell that the blue ribbon, the blue ribbon is longer than the red ribbon. Okay? B is a little bit harder. It says how much longer. So that means that we need to have a number. How much longer is the blue ribbon than the red ribbon? If you notice our title, it says compare equals subtract. So we're going to write a subtraction sentence. 8 minus 5, no, 8 minus 3, sorry. Here I wrote 8 because the blue ribbon is 8 meters long. And I wrote 3 because the red ribbon is 3 meters long. Okay? Equals 5. 5 meters. So the red rib the blue ribbon is five meters longer than the red ribbon. For my next problem, we have again compare equals subtract. Okay? It says an apple tree is eleven meters tall. Here's the apple tree. A peach tree is five meters tall. Here's the peach tree. We have two questions. The first question says, which tree is shorter? Okay, well, by looking at the picture and by reading our information, I know that the peach tree is shorter. Okay. The next question says, how much shorter is it? Uh-oh, that means we need to write a subtraction sentence. That's right. So we have the apple tree is 11 meters and we have that the peach tree is 5 meters tall. So since 11 is the biggest number, that goes first and then I type in 5 for the peach tree. So 11 minus 5. 11 minus 5 is 6 meters. And I'm just going to write M because M is shorter four meters. Okay? So, if I write a sentence, I wrote a sentence here that says, the peach tree is six meters shorter than the apple tree. Okay? I'm going to go to the next problem. Ooh, we have snakes. Okay, we have three different snakes. They're each uh, a different length. Um, we have the first question, which says, which is the longest snake? Okay. Well, just by looking at it, I can tell that the snake in the middle is the longest. So I can write the snake in the middle is the longest. Okay. Good. There we go. The next question says, with what is the difference, ooh, important word, difference, in length between the shortest and the longest snakes? Okay, 
So the question here is asking me, what's the difference between the shortest snake and the longest snake? Okay, well, that means that I have to know the length of the snakes. So let's look here. Well, the short one here, if I look down, is one meter. Oh, it's so small. Then we go to the longest. So we're going to have to count. We have one, two, three, four, and five. Okay? So the longest one is five meters and the shortest one is one. So I write then a subtraction sentence. That's right. So I'm going to start with five. That's the biggest number. And then one equals, that's easy, 5 minus 1 is 4. So the difference between the shortest and the longest snake is 4 meters. Or I could just write M for short. Perfect. I have one more for you, which is compare equals subtract again. I know. Um, this is the last one, I promise. Let's read it. Let's see. First of all, before we start, I notice there's some words that you might be confused with, okay? This here is a street light, okay? So I don't want you to get confused. This is a street light, and this one over here is called a traffic light, okay? I'm sure you've seen both of them. This is for traffic, tells you to stop and go, and this is a street light when it gets dark. And you know what this is. This is a little boy, okay? All right. For this last one, I actually am going to let you do this by yourself. Um, you're gonna, I'm going to read them for you, but then you're going to go ahead and solve them on your own. A, which is the tallest? Please write your answer. B, how much taller is the street light than the traffic light? So here you're comparing the street light and the traffic light, okay? On C, it says, how much shorter is the boy than the street light? So here you're comparing this street light and the boy. Go ahead and write your answers, okay? And that is the last question of our lesson. I hope that you understood everything. If you have any questions about this last one, don't worry about it. I'll answer it tomorrow. Okay? Have a good night, and I'll see you tomorrow.